Hello everyone, and welcome to part four out of four of my 1,000 subscriber special series. Uh, today, we will be taking a look at my iDevice collection. That's iPhones, iPods, and iPads. And we will be going in just that order. So I'll be starting with iPhones, oldest generation to newest, then iPods, same sort of deal, and then iPads. So uh, I'll just give a bit of info about each phone, show it running, and then on to the next. So yeah. Let's get started. All right, and the first phone is my iPhone 2G. It is an eight gig device in rather poor condition, but I got it for $30 a couple years ago, and it works. Uh, here it is, running iOS 1.0. Downgraded, of course, and uh, yeah, perfectly working. I put a new battery in here, but it, I did a video on that, and uh, it's not wanting to charge right now, Oh, I remember. Yeah, it'll only charge if I plug it into Windows XP. <laughs> this is a really weird, just having one of these on iOS 1. It, this downgraded, it's just really buggy. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, it does work, though. Mm -hmm. All right, so, next device is my very beat-up and only iPhone 3G. This was also the first iPhone that I ever owned, which should probably explain its condition. I've currently got it downgraded to iOS 2, as you can see. It is a 16 gigabyte device on 2.2.1. And the home button's a bit finicky. There it goes. It is set up for side loading, as you can see, and jailbroken. I know a lot of people have wanted a tutorial for this, um, but it genuinely took me like hours and hours and hours and hours of trying, and it wasn't because I was doing it wrong. At the beginning I was, but then I was doing it right, and things kept going wrong, and even the correct method takes a ridiculously long time. I want to do a tutorial at some point, it's just really tricky, and uh, there's no way I'm going to reset this device at this point to do it again, because I don't even quite remember all that I did to do it. So, yeah, but... I don't get the issue where when you click on an app, uh, it just says not available because this one was actually installed through the app store. That's how that works. So, yeah. Next we have my good old iPhone 3GS. It's a 32 gigabyte model running iOS 6. There it is. This is new. It didn't do this before, lovely. It isn't even jailbroken. This is just a clean restore. I guess I hadn't done anything on it yet. I used to have it on iOS 3 downgraded, but yeah, put it back on 6 for some reason. I don't remember. Next, we have my 32 gigabyte GSM iPhone 4 running iOS 4.3.5. There it is. Now, this isn't a legit one. I used a downgrade tool called Cherry Flower JB. I don't know what's up with that. Lovely. Um, but it abuses a bug in iOS 7 and allows you to just uh, basically downgrade. It shows the iOS 7 logo for a couple seconds on startup. The like battery flat screen is the iOS 7 style one, but once you're booted into iOS 4, you couldn't tell the difference, and it's completely untethered. So, yeah. All right. Here we have the first of my iPhone 4s and the worst of my iPhone 4s. It's in poor condition, only an 8 gig device, just iOS 7. Yeah, not much to say about this. Um, but yeah, I fooled you. You thought the 2G clip was recorded first? No, I'm waiting for this stupid idiot to turn on. It's It was the first one I plugged in, plugged into a 12 watt charger, which does make a difference on one of these. Still waiting. The battery isn't dead. See, it's fine. And it's warm. I'm just waiting for this stupid thing to charge. <sighs> All right, next we have another iPhone 4. I think this is a 16 gig on iOS. Well, obviously iOS 7, but is it a 16 gig? It's a 16 gig, as I thought. Yep. And these are CDMAs. All the other iPhone 4s are CDMAs. The only one that's GSM was the first one. Hey, we got another guy starting. Yay. <laughs> All right, next we have another iPhone 4. This is the only one that's real iOS 6. My 16 gig on 6.1.3. It's never been downgraded. It's just never been upgraded. 
So, yeah, this is a real one, and it's in decent shape. I think the battery's pretty bad in this one, though. Most of the iPhone 4s have pretty bad batteries, the ones that I have. There we go. Here is the final iPhone 4 we'll be looking at. It is a good shape one, and it is a 32 gigabyte, I believe. Yep, and it's downgraded to 6.1.3. All right, next is our first 4S of the two I own, iOS 9. So fancy. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's only a 16 gig, which kind of stinks. It does have a new battery, though. I had a bunch of iPhones that needed them more, but this one just decided to swell up, so I kind of had to. All right, now our final 4S is the one that I hope is going to be the highlight of the video for most people. It's in really poor condition, um, and the screen... <laughs> um... <laughs> It gets worse as you use it, too. Hey. Can I get it to glitch anymore? You see, then it looks fine when I do that. And then it's better. And then you see it start to lose it. And then look, there it looks perfect besides for the dead pixels. And there, now it's, now it's great, right? And then it just starts to come back. It's just wonderful. This is actually running iOS 9.3.2. I don't think there's any real special uh, thing about it being on 9.3.2 specifically, but I did dump the, I, the uh, SHSH blobs anyway. So I'll probably never fix it because it's a 16 gig and the screen is really funny, especially when it goes absolutely crazy, which it does sometimes. All right, on to the iPhone 5s. <clears throat> Starting off with my favorite one and potentially my favorite device in my entire collection. Uh, might as well take it out of its case. Now that is practically mint condition. And it's running iOS 7. This is completely native iOS 7.1, meaning that it is also downgradable to iOS 6 with the iBoot exploit. I just actually like it as is on iOS 7. There's a lot of stuff about iOS 7 that I like, and I have another device that's dual booted with iOS 6. So this one stays on 7 for now. Next, we have another silver iPhone 5 in less perfect shape. This one is running iOS 8.4.1, one of my favorite versions of iOS ever. And it has been OTA downgraded. So, yeah. Next device is this iPhone 5. This is a 64 gig slate, uh, and it's in pretty poor condition. But it does work. It's on a plain old copy of iOS 10. It's on iOS 10. But this is the one that I have downgraded to, or I mean dual booted with iOS 6. As you can see there, that's why the capacity is showing 42 gigs. And this has a new battery in it. Well, sort of new. I think it's at like 95% now. Eh. Oh yeah, it doesn't tell you anymore on this version of battery life. Um, but yeah, it was somewhere around there. The final iPhone 5 is this one. As you can see from all the visible dirt and crap in the screen, um, it's been sep the glass layer is separated, it's in poor shape. I never really use this one, it's just sort of assembled because it has to be or else I'll lose all the parts. But it does work, it's a 16 gig. I think I have it dual booted with iOS 9 or something, which is why it only shows 8 gigs, I don't know. Next we have my one and only 5C. The icons are weird on the home screen because it's jailbroken and meant to have a theme, but it's not active right now. 16 gig, green, iOS 10.3.3. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. 
All right, here's the first of my iPhone 5Ss. As you can see, it's cracked and in pretty poor condition, but I bought it because <clears throat> it is running iOS 9.2. Yeah, so pretty neat one. Battery's actually in good health too, so it's pretty usable even despite the cracking that is uneconomical to fix. <laughs> All right, the next iPhone 5S I have is the only one of them that's actually in good shape. It's this gold one. And, oh, Touch ID. Oh, oh, come on. Dang it. Okay. And no, I didn't downgrade this to iOS 10 via OTA because it's on 10.2.1. It was just never updated. So that's neat. Okay. Let's fish this guy out. <laughs> this one's seen better days, huh? Oh, come on. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a 5S, a 5S, okay, come on, you got this, there we go, this is a 32 gig 5S on iOS 11.3.1, .1. pretty neat, it's a shame the screen is delaminating and cracking, but yeah. Nice to have, I suppose, even if it is quite slow. And then, guys, promise you won't laugh. This is the funniest one of the video. <laughs> okay, you can laugh. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be able to tell. Uh, unplug. <laughs> yeah, it's another gold 5S. The camera makes it look better than it is. In person, you can see quite the peppering of scratches along the back. Best bit, here's the best bit though. It's alive! <laughs> Even touch works, it's fully working. It just looks horrendous. All right, now I gotta throw this guy in here along with this form factor. It's a 2016 SE. I don't know anything about it other than that. It's a gold one and the uh, it appears to have had some hardware failure, likely a bad NAND flash. And it's probably gonna just need battery. Come on. It'll at least try to turn on, but it gets stuck on the Apple logo. I've tried restoring it. It appears to be on some version of iOS 11, but yeah, it just it won't do anything now, it seems. It's not turning on. All right, here's the first of the iPhone 6s I'll be showing that are in my collection. Um, this one is in a case, I take it out, but this case is kind of falling apart in some places, so I don't want to stress it too much. It's in mint condition. It's really excellent. And it is, there it is, 64 gig space gray on iOS 12. And it's even got a, well, I'd say new battery. I replaced it in 2020, and it's still at 100% health. So, yeah, this one's my go-to iPhone 6. All right, next 6S is one of my other favorite devices in my collection. <clears throat> it is running iOS 10, specifically 10.2.1. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty quick. It had a really bad screen on it that was cracked. Actually, the screen that's on this 6 you'll see later. And so I swapped them. This screen isn't great. It's got some yellowing and some like markings on it from a screen protector, but it's better than what it had. And I'm probably gonna keep it that way to save the money for now. Cause it's really just not economical to fix these phones, which is a shame. Cause these older ones, parts for them are still like, the screen is $40. That's about what they're worth. Even one on iOS 10 isn't like probably like, what, $60, 70 if I wait long enough on eBay. Like, I don't know, but yeah. 
And yeah, the whole thing about parts probably shows most true in this poor thing. It's in horrible condition, and the screen on it was completely fried, so I had to swap one in. Um, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. 11.4.1. Pretty nice. Latest version of iOS 11. You want that. iOS 11 was pretty buggy. All right, and our last iPhone 6 is this one that I mentioned earlier that has the screen from the iOS 10 one. Just an iPhone 6 on 12.5.5. Nothing special. All right, next we have the first of my two 6Ss. This is a 32 gig. It is on 14.7.1. All right, and here's my main 6S that I use as a 6S. Um, it's the exact same as the other one, 14.7.1, 32 gig. Uh, it's also in just about mint condition. The difference is uh, this one has 100% battery health because I replaced its battery. Um, with an iFixit one, and I also fully restored it. It was in very poor shape when I got it. I bought an iCloud lock device that gave all the donor parts, and it's practically mint now. So, yeah. All right, next we have the first of my iPhone 7 series phones, and another one of my favorites in my collection, right up there with my iOS 7 iPhone 5. This is an iPhone 7 on iOS 11.4.1. .1. So, yeah, pretty special. 128 gig. It's in really good shape. The screen has no scratches on it, unfortunately. It is cracked a bit in the corner. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's in pretty nice shape. Rose gold. It's got a bit of scuffing, but that's all. Definitely one of my favorites. Good battery health, too. I think it's somewhere in the high 80s. All right, now for my three seven pluses. Starting, we have this one here. It's a matte black that obviously has suffered a nice big fall, but it's actually in good shape besides for the screen. And it still functions. Next, we have my best condition 7 Plus. It is a rose gold 128 gig. That besides for a small little crack there, it was doing fine. It is running iOS 15.6.1. And it is a 128 gig. And the final 7 Plus is my good old 128 gig gold at this point in very poor shape. This was my daily driver iPhone for, well, since the end of 2018 up until last year when I got my 14 Pro Max, which is, spoiler, the next device. I did do some work on this. I had to replace the battery eventually, so I did that, and so that's all good on this one. And it's a 128 gig on 15.1. Oh, what happened to the video quality? Yeah, I'm recording on the 7 Plus again now. Remember when all the videos were recorded on this? Yeah. This is my main phone. I really need to clean the case, but it is a purple 14 Pro Max. 1 terabyte, 16.1.1. Yeah, I went all out on this. Okay, now I'm gonna just real quickly go through all my iPods that are not iPod Touches. I'm not gonna charge these all up because they're just iPods. Nothing real special about them. All right, iPod Photo, 20 gig. There's Derek, the previous owner who scratched his name into it. And his phone number. Um, it works, new battery, terrible condition. Here's a 60 gig 5th uh, gen classic, um, and it uh, works fine. Uh, original battery still holds charge. Uh, these two are both 30 gig 5.5 gens. I'm not sure which is which because they're both in similar conditions. Okay, now this one's the worst one actually. I forgot this one got scratched up because I used it for like two days without a case. This is the one with the old battery and it needs to be replaced and this one has a new battery. Well, it's been a couple years, but new battery. All right, uh, next I have two shuffles. First gen shuffle works fine. I did charge this one just now, so. Come on, light up, yeah, there it goes. Um, it does work just fine. Original battery still holds decent charge. 
second gen shuffle works fine did also charge this up right there um i replaced its battery then i have two nanos uh this is a fourth gen would have been in great condition if someone didn't scratch k into the back of it uh as far as i know the battery is totally dead it doesn't hold charge I didn't, but I didn't leave it plugged in for more than a few minutes because I didn't want to risk it swelling. So I need to replace the battery in this one, but it does boot. Then I have a really poor condition 5th gen uh, Nano that I did replace the battery in, and it works fine. All right, iPod Touches. First, we have my first gen. And hey, that looks pretty clean, right? But once you get in the light, you start to see the scratches. I polished a lot of these with uh, this stuff called uh, Mother's Mag and Aluminum. And it certainly made it look a lot better and covered up some of the minor stuff. But from front, it still looks bad. But all these sucked before, so they look pretty good now. Anyway. Yeah, it's the freak. No volume buttons. No built-in speaker it is running ios 3.1.3 and it's so old that i don't worry about the serial number and it's a 16 gig too which is nice i forget if they made a 32 of these they might have uh, i don't remember i really don't and next we have a rather poor condition second gen uh yeah i didn't polish this one i don't think well actually no, I didn't. I definitely didn't. Um, this one is, yeah, not in great shape, and it's cracked. But you will notice it has been downgraded to iOS 2 and jailbroken. Um, I never finished properly jailbreaking it, though. There's a ton of crap you have to go through to get Cydia working properly, and I didn't do that. So is on there, but I don't think it actually works. There we go. Just an 8 gig. But... I got it for free, so I can't complain. All right. Next is another 8 gig touch, except this one is the MC model with the smaller text there and a uh, different jailbreak method required for it. So, yeah. And it is running 4.2.1. Next, out of all these, this is the one that's probably actually in the best condition cosmetically. It's my third gen. And it is a 32 gigabyte on iOS 5.1.1. And it's one of my favorites, but the battery is trash, so I need to replace it. <laughs> Not gonna be fun. All right, next is an iPod Touch 4. Nothing's on this one. Hm. Ow. It's just an eight gig on uh, 6.1.6. And it's been polished and Ugh. Looks okay, I guess. All these are just 8 gigs, so nothing too special. And yeah, I said all these, I have two more. Looks like I actually put stuff on this one. No way. It's been jailbroken. 8 gigs again. This one's also been polished. Phew. And this one hasn't, and I didn't even plug it in because, as the note says, it's disabled and has a bad home button, so I can't put it in recovery or DFU mode to reset it. So, yeah. It's done. <laughs> and the last iPod Touch is my 6th gen. I got this new back in 2015. And now the battery's cooked, but it is a 64 gig, so, yeah. And it's not in great shape. It's actually bent ever so slightly. <laughs> yeah. iPads, yeah. This is my iPad 1, an OEM case. Oh! Don't do that. Don't do that. There it is. It is running iOS 5.1.1, and it is a 64 gig. Next, we have my quite beat up iPad 2. The screen is starting to bubble in some areas, unfortunately. 
it has been downgraded to iOS 6. And, and there it is, 16 gig. I do have another iPad too. Oh, come on, fit it in frame. Wow, yeah, this is an Apple case, I think, I think. Yeah, it is, I'm pretty sure. How do these uh, get now I give up. It's an iPad 2 of some I think it's a yeah, 32 gig. Um and it doesn't work. It's got I think bad baseband or something. It is a cellular model and it does not boot properly. So yeah. Alright, and next we have an iPad 4. Anyway, uh yep. Yeah, it is a 32 gig, but I have it dual booted with iOS 6, so there's less available there. 8.4.1 downgrade as well. OTA downgraded, and yeah. Oh, doesn't tell you. Yeah, hey, I'll even boot it into 6. Why not? I'll do that. This is actually, I'm recording these slightly out of order. This is the last one I'm recording, so I'll give it a bit of extra time. There we are. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, it just dimmed. Uh, yeah, this is, I think, the best iPad that ran iOS 6, and you can just dual boot them with it, so, yay. Next one up here is a Mini 2. It has an engraving, so I'm gonna hide the back there. It's in pretty darn good shape. Next up is my newest iPad, which is a 2017 iPad Pro, 10 and a half inch, with terrible, awful, smart keyboard garbage case. Oh, it died. Right. Well, I don't feel like charging it again, because this is one of the last bits I have to record for this, and I want to edit this. But this is uh, a 256 gig on iOS 15.1. And uh, it was my main iPad and YouTube device for many years until I sort of stopped using it late last year because um, I found I was using my phone more of the time and this thing's getting beat up and slow. So yeah, it served me very well for many years though. This was the first big tech thing I bought with my own money too, so hey. Got it new, and it was very nice. And that's the end. So, uh, this is it for the series. Uh, sorry to keep you all waiting so long, but it's done now, and I'm ready to move on to other types of content and stuff like that. So, uh, thank you all for subscribing, thank you all for watching, and I'll see everyone next time.